All right, we got some big dudes here today. The big effort day. Continues. Big effort it's day great. right here. Let me here. tell you, this is Tyree Wilson, Texas Tech's edge rusher. It's great to have Do guys bigger right than him. I got to deal with thing? this guy Woo! all the time. It's nice to have some. No, see, he, somebody with a big ego. Yeah, I need I need somebody to Texas take care Longhorn. of him for me because I can't. <laughs> I got you. Are you Good. saying I got a big ego just because yeah. I went to the Texas yeah. Longhorns? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, all right, I like it. He's talking crap. He, he's got. He already looks like a natural in the NFL. What time did the alarm sure. go off for you this morning? About 6:40. Wow. Yeah. Experience been cool so far. It has been cool. It's just it's been. Every, it's a lot, a lot, right? A lot to soak in. Yeah, I got that. All right, so you know, first off, I. Tech, what, how, did, how did you end up at Texas Tech? I know you went to Texas A&M originally, transferred. Kind of give us the shakedown on what happened there. You know, I feel like A&M wasn't for me. Got in the transfer portal uh, right before COVID hit. Built a relationship with, you know, Paul ran off the D-line coach and, you know, Coach Wells and kept kept going out through all all the COVID to the summer. And, I you know, relationships were a big thing at my second school. So, sure. you know, I had to be patient with the process. And, you know, I built great relationships and went there and, you know, they developed me. Coach McGuire came in after, you know, that staff sadly got fired and, you know, took it to another level. Yeah. When did you when did you have a feel like, okay, when did you go to that another level where you were like, oh, wait, I got a chance to be like, you know, we always wanted to ask, these, ask you guys this, like, I got a chance to be a first rounder or a big time player. Like, when did, when did that kind of pop in your mind? You know, I always, I always knew I could, you know, be a, a good football player, but, you know, I, that next level, I felt like I took, you know, the end of last year. End uh, of last when, year. When I saw I could be dominant and, you know, stop the run and, you know, affect the pass. Sure, sure. And then I just, you know, took that momentum and took it into this year, and, you know, I'm continuing to build on that. Yeah, you built on it all right. I see you were born in a place I've always wanted to visit, Anchorage, Alaska. How long did you live there? You know, I lived there two years. I was very young. I, you know, I moved to Texas in 2002, uh, but I, I still have family there, and, I, you know, I go back and visit. Have you been there when it's, like, not – nighttime at all like in the summertime when yes that's it, you know i only go in the summertime i'm not really that's why there's no yeah what is it like an hour of darkness two hours I mean, of darkness it, the sunlight goes down a little bit but it's not all the way down and right it's, it's just nice you know you can always go outside and feel like it's you know morning time you don't have any problems sleeping in that or anything no, you gotta you gotta cover the window so yeah, you just can just black, sleep. black <laughs> it out black it out um all right so but like i, I want to I mean first off i i knew you were going to be big but damn your arms everybody told me about your arms first off they're thick as hell, and then the length. I mean, what are we talking about lengthwise here? As far as I say, I say my arms are over 35 inches. They're 35 inches, yes. which is just gonna NFL teams are gonna absolutely love. Yes. I mean, that's usually the measurables of a guy like that. Pick number one, number one pick, an important thing for you? No, it's not. You know, just getting to a team, and you know, regardless, you know, you of the of the program, you just want to help develop that and get to that end goal, which, which is the Super Bowl. Yeah. Who in the NFL now do you try to maybe emulate or pattern yourself after? You know, it's a lot of great pass rushers in the league, uh, but, you know, Miles Garrett is doing that at a really high level, and, you know, he tries to get double teamed a lot. Um, J.J. Watt, who's retired now, you know, he's he's a versatile player, that which I see myself, you know, be able to play inside and outside and be able to affect the quarterback and the run in and out. And also, you know, Von Miller because, you know, he's a vet and he's – Great All time on great. Edge. Yeah, on great the on edge. the edge. Right, yes. right. Well, so, uh, what, like, one area of your game that you're going, you know, I, I think i got to improve this. I mean, we know you're the man and you got it all, but, like, you know, you're going to the NFL. What's that one spot you look at to go, i got to get a little better this, you know, in the you meantime? Know, the, the one spot, I, you know, I think I should, you know, can improve on yeah. and will improve on is, you know, playing with, playing with the length I got, playing with the arms and, you know, locking people out and just be, you know. Knowing how to use your yeah. hands and arms better. Yes. And then what, what do you do? Like, explain to the people, like, kind of what you do in the process. You getting into like hand-to-hand -hand combat type of stuff I mean, now? Yes, and... you got a, you got a lot of pass rush, pass rush teachers, you know, right. that are you know successful and can be able to take that game to the next level, right? And where you want it to be. Yeah. Not working out this week. Foot still recovering. How's all that coming you know, along? No, foot, foot's foot's healthy. You know, I could run if I wanted to, um, but you know, I want to be. I'm a competitive, and I want you know, I want the best numbers. So. I think I'm going to do everything at Pro Day. Yeah, wait it out. I mean, yes. make sure you're 100%. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but, you know, I, I know you're kind of a freak of nature here. What, what, what do you think, like, 40-wise? Like, you know, if I, you know, yeah. a lot of people say 4-8. Four, four, That's, you know, I'm way faster than 4-8. I know eight. you I, are. I know I can, you are. You know, 4-5, four, 4-6. Four, you're looking for uh, that kind of number. Vertical, you know, 35, 36. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, broad jump, about 10. And, 
shuttle, I, you know, I don't, I don't know those numbers. Yeah, right. What about bench with those long ass arms you got? You know, I plan on getting 27 to 28. Oh, that'd be big time with that, those things right there. All right, I like it. I like, it. I like it. you're putting yourself out there, even though you're not working out. I, I, I really respect that. I really do. Who's the guy? when you are suited up in an NFL uniform, you're standing out there on the field and you see him out there, you're going to say, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm on the same you know, field you, as this You guy. see, you know, playing defensive line, you know, you look at the tackles, playing the edge. And, you know, I, another fellow East Texas dude is uh, Trent Williams. And, you yeah. know, be able to go against him and, you know, him being from East Texas and being a legend, you know, that's, that'd and be one And a Sooner. Dude. Yes. You got to get him. Got to. Um, um, damn, I forgot what I was going to – oh, this is what I'm going to ask you. I mean, are you like buddies with Patrick Mahomes or what? <laughs> like, what no, the hell? Damn, I mean, you're big. He follows time. you on Twitter. <laughs> Don't follow me on Twitter. He follows I mean, you on Twitter. No, me and you know Pat's from East Texas also. Right. Uh, with Texas Tech, you know, it's just, you know, I got to get to be able to, you know, know him. I haven't, haven't been able to like, you know, actually sit down and you, you know, never. Talk. Have you met him yet? Yes, I, I met, you know, met him multiple times. But didn't get to hang out and just, talk to him yet. Yes, but yeah. you know, I plan on doing that in the future. Right. One cool. thing he's never done is changed. In all the years in the NFL, the success, the fame, the money, he's still the same kid that he was when we talked to him six years ago. And that's a testament to him. And, it's, and it's, I think he probably influences his teammates to be the same way. Would you rather be his teammate at the NFL level or would you rather be chasing him around when he's doing all that crazy stuff trying to sack him? You know, that's a hard question. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, you know, he's a great teammate. I feel like, I, you know. I like him like, in a Super Bowl, huh? I feel like he would. Going against him every day in practice would take my game to another level. There so, you, you know, I'll probably be his teammate. Can't, can't sack him in practice, though. Yeah. Can't I mean, touch him when you get in trouble. You know, you could, He'll you feel see your him, presence. He'll feel my presence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And him being a mobile quarterback and being a great quarterback, I feel like I could take my game to another level. What, what a, you know, off of what he kind of said there, like college, who's the best player you played against? Or, you know, it doesn't even have to be a tackle. Who was a guy that kind of just jumped out to you in your years where you just went, oh my gosh, I couldn't I couldn't you know, get over how good that guy was? You know, you know B. John, B. John Robinson was. Uh, a, yeah. Hook of words. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> lead the horns out of it, but he, he, he was a solid running back for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the, explain? I haven't seen him in person or anything yet. Explain, you know, what he is as a player. I mean, he's a he's a good running back. Has you know great body balance. Uh, he can catch the ball uh, out the backfield, down the field, and he's an explosive back. Can get through the outside or through the middle. Yeah. Was he bigger than you thought he was? You thought he was going to be? I haven't seen him in person yet, so I haven't got the size. Nah, I mean, him he up. wasn't bigger than what I thought he'd be. He's, yeah. You know, he's solid back for sure. Yeah. Which of your game tapes do you think best shows what you can do at the next level? I would say uh, NC State or TCU just being dominant, uh, you know, just affecting the game. Run, run our pass. Like, well, that's what I want to do at the n next level. Other side of the coin, is there any game tape out there that you just uh, you don't, don't look at that one? That's really not who I am. I mean, there's some, there's some games you play bad on, but it's not just bad enough where I don't don't yeah. want you to turn on the tape. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all we all have those those yes. games. There's no doubt about it. All right. So you feel? I mean, we know you're a, a pass rusher, DN. If you got drafted by like a three four team, played outside linebacker, you, you think you could do some of that as well? Yes. You know, I I'm comfortable. You know, standing up and dropping the coverage. Yeah. And, and also, you know, have my hand in the ground and playing inside or outside. Who was your team growing up? Who was my team in yeah, the NFL? Like, yeah. Like who'd you root for? You no, know, my family. My family loved to. Cowboys, but I, you know, I was I was a big Saints guy. Okay, love the Saints. Wow, how'd that happen? You know, I love you know Drew Brees and right. Alvin Kamara and all, all those guys. So that, that was your squad. Yeah. Okay, all right. Got to enjoy a Super Bowl win, unlike the Cowboys. Yeah. So yes. you've been, you're yeah, able you to stick that, that in their faces a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like, I, and and I know that you guys are conditioned to say, hey, whoever takes me takes me. I go where I go. But are you, do you have a short list of where you're kind of secretly hoping you end up? No, I mean, I haven't. Yeah, you do. I, I, I can tell by looking at your face. That was yeah, a smile. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. but I'm going to say the right thing here. No, I, you know, I don't. I just hope it's a great organization, which which they all are. And you know, No, 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 no. You're, 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 mm -hmm. oh, when they're young and naive. <laughs> they're not all great organizations. I mean, I feel, I feel like the ones that, you know, I could Matt, go to are, yeah, yeah. you know, great organizations. And, well, you make uh, them greater. How about that? I will, yeah. for sure. You, you heard a comp? Like, you know, as far as, like, people, you know, these scouts like to compare you to, like, there's one to you that has made sense so far? No, you know, yeah. I feel like they haven't really compared me because I'm, I'm different than you, a lot of players. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. I like it. I like your swag, man. Mm. Yes. Right, not bad for a Texas Tech Red Raider. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were still playing so he could sack you. <laughs> I wish I was There's 20 bucks in it if you just take him out. He <laughs> fell off the stage at the I'll Super Bowl. Just yeah, knock him off. Up Do it for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got more. I got more. Yeah, we can negotiate off air. Yeah. Tyree, we wish you all the best. Thanks so much Appreciate for some it. of your time. Enjoy the scouting combine experience and all the best in the NFL. We can't wait to see you playing at the next level. Yeah. Good luck. There he is. Tyree Wilson. Thanks All right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.